right, what's up, guys? So, I wouldn't normally do this, but idea. Well, actually, I'm kind of piggybacking at everything on YouTube, but listen out. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. All right. So, all these videos are coming out recently, um, and I know I'm very late, but uh, very late to the party. But, but, um, so this whole uh, Jake Paul. Uh, Logan Paul, whatever the hell uh, their names are, um, all this drama that's been going on on uh, YouTube and social media, all that stuff, uh, I find it pretty funny um, because people are making such a big deal about it, and it's it shouldn't be such a big deal. It, they're just, I, I don't know, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. Why do you, why does everyone care so much about these people that are making it big on YouTube and everything. And I, it's cool. I think uh, making a career out of YouTube is, uh, I think, you know, if it's for you, then it's for you. That's awesome. Um, now, I did kind of see some inconsistencies and some consistencies with how the two brothers kind of play their game when it comes to YouTube content and everything. And it seems like that they create drama. Um, for example, one of their uh, the first um, the first video um, that came out that I saw I didn't even know who the hell Jake Paul was until I watched a PewDiePie video, <laughs> and uh, I love PewDiePie. He's he's fantastic. Respect Whammon. Um, and I saw his review on this video, and it's uh, Jake Paul roasting a bunch of people saying how he got all these views and everything <laughs> it's pretty pathetic um showing off like lambos and expensive watches and shit like things that like you can't rent like like i i can't go on my phone right now and call someone locally and be like hey i need to rent a lamborghini for about two hours here's five to eight hundred dollars now the point is, is I think that this was all put together on purpose by both of them. I think Jake Paul and I think his brother's name is Logan, I'm pretty sure that they put all this stuff together just so they could make drama and get, <laughs> get more views, uh, for con you know, make content for more views and, you know, have this feud together. <laughs> now. I just want to go through this step by step. I know I'm super late to the party, but I gotta watch this video again. And I, I've already seen it a few times. I try, I'm trying to like wrap my mind around why someone would even bother making a kind of video like this because it's pretty awful. I mean, the video is just, it's nonsense. Here it is, uh, it's every day, bro this whole team 10 bullshit like what do you even make money how yeah, well, they live in california that's how all these fucking stupid people all right anyways let's um let's try and get through this as yeah y'all can't handle this okay y'all don't know what's about to happen maybe team 10 los angeles cali boy all right, I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, now obviously millions of people have seen this, and millions of people have seen all the other reviews on this video. But what I don't understand is they're renting Lamborghinis and potentially renting Rolex watches, whatever you want to say, and they can't even afford. To buy the rights to the beat that they're using I mean come on like it's probably I'd say maybe maybe a hundred bucks if it's if it was really that good that popular it'd be about a hundred dollars to rent but I mean you go back and what why why can't you just make your own beat be creative for once in your life. 
uh, <laughs> I know that's ironic, but <laughs> um, I don't know. Just or use something basic, something that doesn't have a stupid watermark in the audio. That's so dumb. Why would you do that? It makes you look like an idiot. Even though, I mean, look at his face. He just looks like he's trying to get attention. Anyways, well, let's continue. Every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. First off, I didn't actually realize this guy was part of Disney. Obviously, I don't watch anything Disney these days except maybe, maybe some of the new movies. I saw Frozen. I know that was a while back, but I did. It's true. I was kind of forced to, but it wasn't that bad. Anyways, let's, uh, now that we got the Disney thing out of the way, um, let's see what happens next. on YouTube in six months, never done before. Pest all the competition, man. PewDiePie is next. Um, well, I know it was pointed out. I know how many times this was pointed out, but you think that they would be able to come up with a little better lyrics, maybe more grammatically correct. Um, because it's pretty clear what he says is he passed all the competition, which is not right. I mean, there's probably, I'd say close to a hundred, if not more YouTubers out there that have a larger following. Um, and then he says, you know, he passed all of them. So that's okay. That's cool. Good for you. But then he, he said he passed all this competition. So he either A, doesn't consider PewDiePie his competition, or B, he's an idiot and couldn't figure out anything else to rhyme. <sighs> all right, let's continue. Man, I'm popping all these checks. Got the brand new Rolex and then met the Lambo too. And they're coming with the crew. This is Team 10, bitch. Who the hell up flipping you? And you know I kick them out if they ain't with the crew. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You begging for attention, talking shit on Twitter too. Um, I'm gonna roll that back. Let me listen to that one more time. What the f what the Talking about you, you begging for attention, talking shit on Twitter too. But you still hit my phone last night. It was 452, and I got the text approved, and all the recordings too. Don't make me tell them the truth. And I just dropped some new merch, and it's selling like a god. Alright, so A, that flow, if you want to call it that, was awful. I mean, it did. But what? What happened? It actually, I kind of, it's kind of catchy, but. Now I kick them out if they ain't with the crew. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You begging for attention, talking shit on Twitter too. But you still hit my phone last night. <sighs> still begging for attention. But... See the problem with that, and I know I'm getting really down in the deep part of the song because it's a super deep song and not completely for attention. The irony, I'd like to just point out. Um, it's just an awful song. Like I, I feel like I probably could have written lyrics in, I'd say, give me a week and have something better than this. I think I could if I didn't have anything better to do, which obviously this group of, I don't know, 10 people, like... Who are you? I, I mean, I know this 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 video has a shit ton of views, but I don't know. I know him from Vine. I know D D Jake Paul from Vine, and that's about it. That's about who I knew prior to actually watching the video and actually seeing all this shit go on. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna it was 52 and I got the text approved and all the recordings too. Don't make me tell them the truth. And I just dropped some new merch and it's selling like a god church. All right. Um, I, I can't. I can't say this enough because I know it's been said so many times. But he 
he went from Disney to his crew to a girl or guy, I guess. A girl or guy he was in relations with um, with phone and texting and him recording those. That's kind of weird. Uh, rec- he has recordings. Um, and from there, it just drops... Um, well, let's see. Let's 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 hear it one more time because I'm sure I'm sure we all haven't heard it enough. The truth, and I just dropped some new merch, and it's selling like a god church. Just drop new merch, and it's selling like a god church. Huh. I want to know what other church there is. I mean, I know that. Technically, not all churches uh, follow God, but I mean, come on, like most most churches follow a higher being, so they just didn't have the lyrics for that, I guess. They just kind of, eh, merch, God, God church, church. I feel like they could have come up with something better. Perch. Lurch from the Adams Family. Ha ha, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I could be a rapper. Uh, I don't know, just, uh, okay. Perch, Ohio's where I'm from. We chew them like it's gum. We chew in with a gun. The tattoo just for fun. I, I feel like they didn't make any effort here. I mean... That's probably not even permanent marker. I don't know what that is. Maybe a expo marker you can just easily clean off. I poorly drawn, by the way. Um, I mean, it's cute that they have matching tattoos on their legs. I don't know why the hell you'd put something like that on your leg. Uh, all right. I you say vote and run Catch me at game one I cannot be outdone Chick Paul is number one It's every day bro It's every day bro It's every day bro I said it's every day bro You know it's Nick Crompton and my corner stay open Um Nick Crompton Hmm Hmm Let me just let me just hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just. Uh... Oh, there we go. Let's see. Sure. Nick Crompton, entrepreneur. He is twenty-two years old. Um. He's from England. Okay. Oh, look at that. Twenty-two. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Birth sign. That's important. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. Before fame, co founder of Social Chain in February 2015, began building and Okay, so stupid life decisions. Okay. Two. One point. I have one million followers. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, okay, cool. Uh huh. Um, and associated with all these assholes. Okay. So that's Nick Crompton, I guess. Um, Okay, I I heard maybe he's a raptor. Uh, rap, he's a raptor. No, uh, a rapper. Um, he'd probably be a better raptor than a rapper. So let's um, we'll just. Yes, I can rap, and no, I'm not from Cotton. England is my city. Now I'd understand. If he was from, you know, the Northeast, the United States, from Massachusetts, where there is a city of England, you know, like the England, New England Patriots, sorry, New England Patriots, but England. England is my city. Um... Huh. 
So I guess America would be my city. All right. And if it were for Team 10, then the US would be shitty. I'll pass it to Chance, because you know he's a litty. Two months ago, you didn't know my name. Who the f is that? Who is that? I, um, what did he say? What did he say? Why, what did he do when he opened his mouth? Because you know he's a litty. Two months ago, you didn't know my name, and now you want my fame? Bitch, I'm blowing up. I'm only going up. Now I'm going off. This is an advertisement video. <laughs> This whole video is an ad. Isn't that, isn't that their whole, isn't that what Team 10 does is they try and get people and they build their uh, social media base to where they get more views and more followers and make money off of that. This whole video is just an ad. He's just the guy, he just, just don't know, he didn't know me for two months and uh, now he's popular or something. I, I don't know, let's, I, I gotta. Cause you know he's a litty. Two months ago you didn't know my name and now you want my thing. Two months ago you didn't know my name and now you want my fame. I, I still don't know who this guy is. I mean, I, I know who Jake Paul is because he sounds like a self-absorbed asshole who just wants attention. And Nick Crompton, because he's been the butt of every joke for this video. Um, but the rest of these guys, like, who the, f who are they? I, I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost for words. Bitch, I'm blowing up, I'm only going up. Now I'm going off, I'm never falling off like Mag who? Digi who? Who are who? Who is Mag and Digi? Am I lost? Am I the only one that I I don't know what that is? Is that am I that com, am I that social media illiterate that I just have no idea who that is? Is that should I know who that is? I feel like maybe I should know if I'm watching this video. Now. You? All these beats I just ran through hit a million a month. Where were you? Hating on me back in West Bank. You need to get your shit straight. Jakey brought me to the top. Now we really popping off. Number one and number four. That's why these fans all at our door. It's lonely yet. The okay. I did read something. Uh, and I know this is fact because it's on the internet. Um, so... The reason why people are showing up at their door is probably Pika. Give me one second. All right. Anyways, the reason why people are showing up at their door, well, I can show you. So if you go on Google, and I'll just type in Team 10. Oh, look at that. 638N North. Kilkia Drive, West Hollywood, California. So they might be showing up at your door because your video got, let's see, has, as of right now, over 70 million views. So, mentioning Team 10 a lot, probably would Google something like that. Maybe, maybe their address. And, oh look, it's posted as a business. Team 10 house where all these fools live. So if you're wondering why people are showing up at your door, it's probably because you have your address listed on the internet. Anyways. Number four, that's why these fans all at our door is lonely at the top. So we all going. We left Ohio. Now the trio's all rolling. It's Team 10, bitch. We back again. Always first, never last. We the future. We'll see you in the it's every day. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I just, I just want to stop it there because I know what's coming next.